Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the fifth-year quarterback, Jameis Winston, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as they take on Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion as I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. I'm Brandon Gaughan. To my left is my good friend Charles Davis, and what a thrill to be here for the biggest one of them all, the Super Bowl. And it seems to get bigger every year. The lights get brighter. The cameras more numerous. I don't know. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's an honor to be here, isn't it? It is an honor, and I can't wait to share this game with you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. You're my partner, my best friend. I can't imagine being anywhere else but right here with you. And just think about it this way. You mentioned the magnitude. This is no longer just a game for America or even North America. This is worldwide. People watching from just about every country in the world. This is impressive. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and just about ready to roll. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Derek Carr is set and ready to roll as he leads the Raiders out onto the field. Carr in his sixth season, 28 years of age, former second-round pick back in 2014, and a lot of people feel this is a critical season for Derek Carr as a Raider. Remember, there were whispers that the Raiders might be in the market for a QB in the draft. He even contemplated maybe making a run at Kyler Murray, but in the end, they stood pat with Derek Carr, hoping that he's the long-term answer. This is Jalen Richard, the fourth-year man from Southern Miss. Tackle made that time by Vida Vea. And the offensive starters here for the Raiders. And all eyes will be on Antonio Brown on the outside, now wearing a uniform other than Pittsburgh's. Donning the black and silver of Oakland. How will he mesh with his new head coach, John Gruden? His new quarterback, Derek Carr. Let's see how things go. They run it with a rookie from Alabama, Josh Jacobs. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. The starting 11 defensively for Tampa Bay. And Dominican Sue provokes a whole lot of conversation. But at the end, everyone agrees, one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. From the gun, it's Carr. And that will be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Here's the Raiders punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. So they wound up passing on a long field goal try, but that works out for them really well. That one's down inside the five-yard line. And it's risky because your punter, if he puts it in the end zone, the net result not worth it, but there, I think, worth it. As Tampa Bay's offense trots out here, Charles, let's look ahead to this season. You know, we, you and I have talked before about Marcus Mariota and this being a big year for him in Tennessee. Well, his draft mate, Jameis Winston, this is kind of a big year for him under center. You're exactly right. Both of them in their fifth year. Remember, Winston was the number one pick in that draft. Mariota was number two. And it's not that Jameis Winston hasn't been coached and coached well before. 
He's had quarterback gurus in his career at Tampa, but now Bruce Arians, the head coach, that may be the ultimate quarterback guru. And also his offensive coordinator is a former quarterback in the NFL. So if it doesn't happen this year for him, I don't know when it does, but the early returns seem promising. He looked pretty good in the early going. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. The throw over the middle, taken in. A gain of six there on first. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. On second down, Barber. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Peyton Barber, a surprise workhorse for the Buccaneers in 2018. I don't think they expected him to have 234 carries, but he certainly felt like he could carry the load and just carried it there for a nice game. Winston now to throw on first down. And that's complete. It's Allington. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. From the gun, Winston. Throw right side, take it in by Godwin. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Chris Godwin, the former Penn Stater, should see an increase in action and production in 2019 with Adam Humphreys and Deshaun Jackson gone from the team. 842 yards in 2018, second only to Mike Evans on the Buccaneers. Winston, the offense with a first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Jameis to throw it. He'll find Barber out of the backfield. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. To throw again on second down, Winston. The intended target was Chris Godwin, and it's third down. Finally, an incompletion. He was 5-5 five of five before that last throw to start this game. So he is human. All right, so we found out after the way he began, that, okay, he can have an incompletion here or there. But I love what they've done right from the word go. They just need to pay it off with a touchdown. Now, now Winston. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Fourth down, and the Bucks trot out the former 49er Bradley Pinion to punt it. Back deep for the Raiders, Dwayne Harris. A 
Oakland set to get the football here in a second. And you know, some teams, they, they sort of kind of do their training camp quietly, not make a lot of noise. And then there's the Raiders. <laughs> I mean, where to start? You start with Antonio Brown in the last month or so. He'd arrived at Steeler camp previously in a helicopter or a Rolls Royce. So he shows up to his first Raider camp and what, Charles, a hot air balloon. Well, it, it is Napa. It is Napa, and it makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? We got a chance to see the beautiful countryside as he floated in. And then, of course, came the foot issues. Yeah. Boy, we've all seen that picture one too many times. Can't unsee it. <laughs> all right? And so it was cryotherapy gone wrong in France. Didn't have the proper protection. And he burned the bottom of his feet. And then we get to the helmet issues because he has a helmet that the NFL says is no longer certified. This is past his 10-year limit. He still wants to wear it. Took a grievance to the NFL. Lost the grievance hearing. So we got to find out if he's going to put on a different helmet and come out and play. Yeah, and on social media, he said, hey, if anybody has this helmet, this is what I'm looking for. Please send it to me. He just yeah. needs it certified starting 2011 to fit inside the league timeline, but he hasn't found one yet. But you did say Still these are the Raiders, right? Never a dull moment in their camp. And, of course, they'll have the TV cameras following them all camp and preseason long. Don't you worry. You're going to get your fill of the Oakland Raiders. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Here we go. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's the Raiders punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and ten. On first and ten, Winston. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Ready. The Bucks Ready. offense set to begin their next possession. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big <laughs> shot down. No, no, no. Guaranteed the head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage in the Super Bowl. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Time show quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now 
out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. Winston and the Bucs take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Credit the sack there to Arden Key. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. They go play action. Winston. And the pressure gets to him again. Cleland Farrell. He's the one that drops him this go around. And that pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. Now that's the way to start the second half. Back-to-back -back sacks. Whatever the halftime speech was, I hope they recorded it. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Got a man. It's Brashad Perriman. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. On the return, Harris. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll, we'll see which avenue they choose to go down. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. To throw his car. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. 
The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Here's the Raiders punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But you know, sitting up here in the booth. Take some gambles. I, I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. Shady, Rip left, rip left. Winston to throw. And this one caught by Cameron Brain. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Counting down at 30 seconds remaining. Winston. This goes to Barber, the running back. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Off the play fake, Winston. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL <laughs> moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, Usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap.